Welcome, Noshin. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, wonderful. Okay, so what are we learning today? So do you remember what all have we done till now? You, you really think that I'll be remembering everything? So, mm, I hope you do. We did oh, yes, modifiers. I yes, I do. We did modifiers, we did pronouns, we did subject verb agreement. We've also done critical reasoning and we, we've... Oh, we've I'm talking about sentence correction. Oh, we've done a lot of uh, yeah. verbal now. Yeah, and yes. we did uh, comparisons. Yes. Now we'll do tenses and sentence construction. Absolutely. Okay, so before we begin with the tenses, we, it's very important that we understand verbs. Verbs? Yes. But we've been, we've been talking about verbs a lot. Yeah. So we basically are doing verb tenses. Okay. So verb is an action, and tenses uh, give us the uh, time about the verb. When was the particular action? Sure. When did the particular verb action happen? Are actions. Mm -hmm. And tenses will give you time. The timeline. Tenses give time. So that's why we also call them verb tenses. So they also called verb tenses. So I just put it like this. So before we go to the verb tenses, we'll understand the types of verbs. Okay. So we have three uh, types of verbs: continuous, continuous verbs, non-continuous, non and, mixed, and verbs. mixed verbs. Yes. So continuous verbs are those verbs with which you can use ing. So, so you can, can go to the next next uh, slide. It's written there. Ing type. Yeah. So we we'll go to the next slide. Yeah. Basically, these are the physical actions. Okay. That means these are those actions that you can see people doing. Which. You can see people. Yes. Doing. Okay. You can see people doing. Which you can see somebody doing. Yes. Right. So, uh, for example, we have to run, to walk, to eat, to fly, to say, to touch, etc. Okay. So, all these actions are the physical actions. These are all physical actions which yeah. you can actually see. Right. So and they are continuous verbs. That's right. A lot of a lot of students make mistake of spelling continuous as well. So just make sure that you get this right as well. Yes. <laughs> So what you can do is, in this type of verb, what we do, we can use any form of tense with this. Mm -hmm. As in, I eat dinner every day, yeah. and I'm eating dinner now. Mm -hmm. We use eat as a simple tense, yeah. and we use am eating as a continuous tense, as, as I and J. Yes. This is simple tense, this is continuous tense, yes. Right? Right. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. These are the tenses which are non-continuous. Non-continuous words. Okay. And non-continuous words are those words which you cannot see people doing. Which you cannot see people doing. No. You cannot see somebody doing. All right. And uh, abstract verbs, possession verbs, and emotion verbs are non-continuous verbs. Okay. As in to be, to want, to cause, to seem. To need, to yeah. care, to so contain, to owe. Abstract yeah. and in possession verbs to possess, into, to possess, to own, to belong. Right, and in, in emotion verbs to love, to hate, to dislike, to fear. Right. Okay. So what we cannot do here, here is that we cannot add ing form to the, this type of verb. Okay. As in, he wants a drink is right, but he is wanting a drink now is wrong. So similarly, when you say uh, love, liking uh, or li uh, loving or liking is wrong. Mm -hmm. Why? As a noun it is right, but as a verb it is wrong. Okay. So for example, I cannot say, um, I am liking him, or I am liking this. So it is okay. always, I like it. Or he is owning a car. A very famous... I am loving it. Yes. It's wrong? Yes. Somebody needs to correct it. Okay. It's like loving is. I understand. Loving, a, you can say uh, as, as a, a noun, noun, but you can. Loving is pure. So, right. so loving can. Loving be is a, noun. a great feeling. Loving is a great feeling. So using loving as a noun. Yes. But when you say I'm loving it, right. uh, loving is it's incorrect. So similarly, we say possessing, owning, belonging. It's belonging to him, or it is uh, he is possessing a house. That all those words are wrong. I am quite sure that. Uh, uh, most of the students will be making tremendous yes, mistakes. Yes, yeah. yes, that's so, why we have picked it up here. So, so does Jima actually test this? When you have to choose between ing verb and uh, infinitive form of verb, so they always students always know that uh, prefer 
without ing but they don't know why prefer without ing word mm-hmm. so that's why we have taken it here so and it plus in we'll tenses coming later yes. just in case once we do tenses they will actually tell you why have we picked it up mm-hmm. because we use ing form that is we use um, present perfect continuous yeah. having yeah so whether we can use it with a word or we cannot use ing form with the word for example if i say hold we'll do that in mixed word right now i don't want to say it here okay. we'll do that in once we do the mixed word so so for for this slide what you're trying to say is that abstract verbs possession verbs emotion verbs make sure that you don't put an ing format with it it's absolutely wrong right so don't say wanting costing seeming needing yes hating. possessing owning yeah. belonging right uh liking loving hating disliking etc they they're, they're all all are wrong they might be right in some other case that's yes. what i'm trying to say yes. okay so we'll